Hey, this is a video response to Ray Ray, Auntie Rachel. Uh, forgive me, I haven't watched your video yet. <laughs> but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the internet if somebody didn't go and make a response half cocked. You know, like read a read a video title, see the thumbnail, and oh, ha, ha. so I think it's best we go into this with preconceived notions, don't you? <laughs> So, um, this is a video response to your video about uh, uh, pirates versus the English Navy. Now, um, I immediately had some thoughts about that. And, um, and I'm sure, I imagine, you have a very, you are, uh, you're a romantic at heart, like, uh, like ladies do tend to be. And that's great, that's wonderful and it's beautiful. Um, so I would imagine um, you were talking historical, most likely Caribbean, based on the context of the pirates that you've been talking about lately. Um, for those of you who may not know, link in the description below. Uh, please be polite. Um, if I'm sending you over there, my recommendation um, to you is a, a reflection on me, so I ask that you be kind to my friend. There. That being said, um, I don't know much about that. I'm not English. I'm American. Now, if we want to be American about this, there's actually a song in a uh, certain American military about uh, shores of Tripoli <laughs> and the American reaction to pirates and how the Americans did against pirates. But I want to go even more recent because, hell, why not? We actually have the people here, some of them, some of them are still alive to tell the tale. Um, a couple of them are even uh, operational, so they actually, um, they can't tell the tale because they're still involved in SMU, which um, for those of you who may not know, SMU stands for Small Mission Unit. Um, so a lot of cases, um, Small Mission Unit personnel um, they're, they're kind of, they're very strict on uh, non-disclosure for, for security and personal and safety reasons. But here's the story of the American Navy versus pirates. So, two skiffs come off the Somali coast, um, relatively well-armed, um, small arm, long guns, uh, rifle caliber, um, they managed to, uh, make a long story short, they managed to secure a container ship and um, many things transpired, um, causing the eventuality of the captain. Um, as the story narrative goes, the um, captain offered himself to hopefully ensure the security and safety of his crew, like a good captain would. Uh, that man's name was uh, Phillips. So, eventually, um, their emergency signal gets out. The United States Navy responds um, to this uh, pirate situation. End result, because uh, Shafe likes to say I look at things very simply. Simply put, at ranges greater than 200 yards, in flowing seas, simultaneous headshots with the retention of the leader of the pirates physically captured. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know if you're keeping score, Ray Ray, but, uh, that's American Navy 1, Pirates 0. Y'all be good. And, uh, let me know if y'all want to hear more sea stories, I guess. <laughs> they're not mine, they're others, but, shoot, I got a few more. Y'all be good.